What is up guys, Pirate Toad here. We are doing another video. Now today's video, I'm really, really excited about. We are actually gonna be doing an entire reptile room tour. Not just that though, we're gonna be counting any animals I have in the pond. We're gonna count my animals outside, which y'all will see shortly. I mean, every animal we have, we're gonna be going through pretty much. So right now we're gonna start off in the reptile room probably and then work our way around. We got a lot to get through, so let's make this quick. Might be making this two videos considering how long it's gonna take. Cause even if I did 30 seconds per animal, it would still be over 20 minutes. So I might have to do this as two videos. But let's just get started on one side of the reptile room, work our way around. I'll show you how everybody's set up. We got a lot, a lot to see. So let's get started. So first off, we have my four crested gecko babies. So we have this guy right here, that guy right there, those two little guys down there. Now that guy right there is absolutely gorgeous. Now if you're looking to purchase one of these, please let me know and I will be willing to sell you one, um, especially if you're a subscriber. But yeah, just four little Crested Echo Babies. These come, came from my male and female Apollo and Godzilla. So let's show you those guys. So here's my male Crested Echo Godzilla. Uh, really, really pretty. Um, kind of like an average, very simple color. He's not anything too fancy. But he definitely gets a real dark color. As you can see, that's a solid black and that's him. He is nearing solid black in coloration. Super awesome little dude. Love this guy so much. Let's move on to his girlfriend. She's a bit more rowdy. She's flame and Dalmatian, as you can see on her. Absolutely gorgeous gecko. She's the one who produces all the babies for me. I love this girl. I've had her for several years now. One of my favorite geckos in the entire world. My first crested gecko that I've ever owned, as a matter of fact. That's Apollo. Y'all can check out some of their videos with her. Let's continue on. Next up we have Leonidas. Uh, my leopard gecko. I've got this guy for a while. I actually bought him for 20 bucks when he was a baby. And now he's getting big, real healthy. Fat tail as you can see. A little hyper, but that's Leonidas. Next up we have my three leopard geckos. Omaha. Pearl, which is her, and Rosie. So if you noticed, her name's Rosie after Rosie the Riveter. His name's Omaha after Omaha Beach, World War II. Pearl, Pearl Harbor. So they all have some historical names. Uh, this is like my little breeding setup. Um, don't worry, they're only in here for breeding. They've got plenty of stuff. They've got two water bowls, two calcium dishes. They're doing really great. They got a heat pad on them. Just chilling, healthy little guys. So yeah, I have four leopard geckos in total, three in here for breeding, and then Leonidas, once he gets a little bit bigger, we'll breed him as well. So we have Mustard and Sriracha. Sriracha I got around six months ago, and Mustard is the animal I have had the longest in my reptile room. Now he may not be the oldest, but I most certainly have had him the longest. I've had him for about three, three and a half years. So he's getting up there in age and I've had him for quite a while he's doing really really well I love that dorky little guy uh, he's very special to me considering he's been with me so long and is doing so well got him his partner Sriracha not too long ago and they do great together both of them are males and this is their setup so let's continue on to the next animal so let's see if we can get him out we have some newer additions one two so these are my two fire belly toads. I recently got them. Uh, here's their setup. Pretty simple, but pretty nice looking. Half water, half land with the background. Now these guys, I originally were gonna get whenever I first started getting into reptiles and amphibians. These were gonna be my first one. Then I decided to get Timothy and Toby, which y'all may have known that they passed away, unfortunately. But these guys, I decided to take a little flash to the past and get some fire belly toads. Uh, they're super awesome. They're kind of lazy though, but I love those little dudes. So those are my two fire belly totes. They're unnamed, so if you have any names, maybe put one in the comments and maybe we'll name it. Next up we have another fairly new addition. That is Scales, my baby red-eared slider. Now he's definitely getting big, too big for this tank, so he's going to be outgrowing and going into a bigger tank and then eventually into the outdoor pond. But that's Scales. 
super crazy guy. He's a ferocious eater. He's an aggressive little sucker. And I love him so much. He's so hyper, so awesome. That's a fish that was supposed to be food, but he never ate it. So that's scales. Uh, he's in a little 5.5 with some moss. Very simplistic setup. His basking room filter. He's definitely going to get upgraded very soon into a bigger tank and then eventually the pond. But then it's scales. My little hyperactive turtle. Here we have a future breeder. This is a Harley Quinn crested gecko. I got him at an auction. Super jumpy. Uh, he'll be awesome to breed he or she whenever he or she gets old enough. We're definitely going to be breeding this guy. This dude is also unnamed, so if you have any good names, just drop it in the comments. Now here, we have by far my most aggressive animal. I will not be opening up the doors or anything like that, because this guy is crazy aggressive. This is my white line gecko. It's really hard to tell. I'm not going to pull him out or anything like that. So he's super aggressive. But he's a white line gecko. I'm going to be selling him here soon. So I thought I'd just show y'all him in the Recalum Tour. Porg, my female Kenyan Sand Boa, also known as the Danger Noodle. I've had her for quite a while now. She's getting way bigger. This is her enclosure. She's on half sand, half aspen, water bowl, a little hide. Kind of a little overly decked out, but she definitely enjoys it. She takes use to it all. That's Porg, my regular female Kenyan Sand Boa, my mom's favorite animal. And Sand Boas are super duper sweet. So yeah, that's Porgy. Let's continue on. Next up we have Chubb, my ornate Pac-Man frog. I've had him for quite a while now. He's doing super well. He's in a very basic setup, just a water bowl, a 10 gallon tank with a water bowl, some leaf litter, and of course lots of dirt. He's doing really well, he's a good eater. Very happy to have him in my collection. So let's continue on. Now here we are with Hannibal, my Asian greenback frog. He's in a regular 10 gallon tank. A uh, little bit of background, a little bioactive setup with some plants, springtails, all that good stuff. But that's Hannibal, he's doing super good, very pretty guy. So let's continue on. Now here we are with Louis Vuitton. He is a fat, adorable little alien. I got him from Area 51. So that's Louis Vuitton, he's a Asian chubby frog. Very fat as you can see, he's basically a potato. He is the most adorable little alien in the universe. So yeah, this guy's super awesome. Louis Vuitton, let's continue on. Alrighty, next up we are on my snapping turtle, Gamera. Pretty mean dude, as you can see there. He does not like people. But he's in a 20 gallon tank for now. I originally was gonna put him on my pond, but just if anything were to happen to him, it would kill me. So I'm gonna wait till he's big enough to truly defend himself 100%. And then he will go out in the pond, but I just don't want anything to happen to him. So for now, he's gonna be in this 20 gallon, just chilling, growing into this thing. And once he grows into this a bit more, he will definitely go out to the pond. Very simplistic setup, some gravel, a nice filter, uh, a light, and his little moss stuff. Very simplistic. But he's doing really well, he gets fed well, he gets fed all sorts of crazy things. And this is one of my favorite animals for sure. Uh, so let's continue on. Next up we have my two female Sonoran Desert Toads, Sherman and Hummer. Uh, they're in a 20 gallon long, heat light, uh, just some fake plants. They're doing really well. Now there's not very much care video wise on this species of toad. A lot of people will say you should care from one way and care from another. So this is how I have my setup for those of y'all who are looking into buying it. I have money to work, but I just keep it very warm. I have a good size water bowl. They love their water. And then I hide uh, some plants, leaf litter, things like that. The most important thing is keeping them wet, but not too wet and not too dry, but dry. It's really weird. Uh, so that's why I have this hot spot here, but a little bit more humid over here because of the fact that their water bowl and I spray it down a little bit over here. So Sherman's right there and Hummer's right there. I've had these guys also for a while. Uh, I get a lot of popularity because of these guys. So that's my two Snore Desert Toads, Sherman and Hummer. If you want to see more videos with them, please let me know with these two females. So let's continue on with the video. Now here we have five Hermit Crabs. 
There's one guy right there. I mean, they're kind of all over the place. There's a guy in there. Big boys. Those are our two big boys. We have one that's under the dish. They're just scattered throughout the cage, hiding and chilling. They eat a ton. They're very healthy. Uh, they got a very, very thick layer of substrate. They got a mixture of eco earth and sand. Uh, there's none in there. But that's just five hermit crabs. They're doing super well. I got them from a friend of mine who could no longer take care of them. But she already, when she did have them, took great care of them, so I wouldn't call it a rescue. But those are the five hermit crabs. They're all doing well. They're just burrowing around, and it's a pain in the butt to dig for them. So let's continue on. Here's another male breeder, Crested Gecko, I have. He is unnamed, so if you have any names for him, let me know. But he's a super pretty gecko, as you can see. I'm kind of getting him bulked up to breed this next season because he will be an awesome to breed gecko. He's in this 20 gallon bioactive setup that's doing fairly well. I like it a lot. Um, not much else to say about him, but if you have any name suggestions, put them in the comment section below. Let's continue on with the next animal. Now here we have my adult male pastel ball python Houdini. Uh, his name's Houdini because he escapes things very easily. He's super awesome. I got him as a rescue. He had a little bit of a respiratory problem due to the fact that he lived in a smoker's house. But he's doing much better now. He's getting big. He eats well. Uh, he's in a 40 gallon breeder. Pretty simplistic setup. He pad, water bowl, some stuff for some enrichment. That's Houdini. I love this dude. I've had him for a little while. Houdini, my pastel, the python. So here's Fuego, my adult male corn snake. He's a pretty good size. Some of y'all may have recognized him from previous videos. He's all over the place. He's grown quite a bit. Now look at that. Did y'all see that? Look at his belly. It goes from white to like an orange. He's probably close to five, five and a half feet. Now he goes into his hide. Before he goes in a 40 on breeder that I just had to destroy to get him out for you guys. So you better say thank you. But I've had him for a while. He was also a rescue from some people who couldn't take care of him. And we got him set up in a real nice cage. He's doing super amazing in this enclosure. So that's Fuego, my regular adult male corn snake. Say bye bye. And here we have a new addition. We have a soft shell turtle, guys. Look at that dude. He's also another new addition. He's doing super well, baby soft shell. He, when he gets big enough, is gonna go out to the pond. The little dude, he's so adorable. His name is Jar Jar, like Jar Jar Binks, the Star Wars character. He's in this Tim Yon setup. Uh, of course, our Zuma sticker, and then our Turtle Source sticker. He's doing super well. I love him very much. He's eating really well. That's Jar Jar. We'll continue to give you updates on him. Now, for the last animal in the reptile room, the beast, the one and only, the king. Let's go. No, come back. <laughs> Gucci! The king! No! Stop! This is Gucci, guys. My female king toad. My favorite animal that I own right now. I love this toad so much. Gucci's just an absolute beast. A pig. You guys love her. Y'all want to see more of her. So give me some suggestions on what you think I should do. A video I should do with her. Please give me a suggestion. Because I'm running out of ideas to do videos with her. But yeah, we're going to definitely try to get some more videos in with her. That's Gucci, my adult female cane toad, absolute beast, as people say, she's an absolute unit, she's in a 40 gallon, huge water pole, huge hide, I'm gonna get her a 75 gallon eventually, and give her a ton more space, but yeah, that's Gucci, the beast, the cane toad. Now that we've concluded our tour in the reptile room, let's go outside and see what all we got going on outside. Now here for the first turtle of our pond area. We have a red-eared slider, also unnamed. It's a very regular red-eared slider, doing fairly well. I'm gonna keep an eye on he or she to see how he or she is doing. Make sure he or she is eating. But yeah, if you have any names, once again, like, leave it down in the comment section. So yeah, that's our red-eared slider. Also next up, we have some of my most favorite animals as well, Xena and Abrams. They destroyed their cage, as you can see. But Zena and Abrams I've had for a little over a year now. 
my babies. These two are also some of my most important animals. What you want, boy? And these guys I love so much. There's Abrams. He's just chilling. There's Xena taking a run for it. So Xena and Abrams, my two African sulcata tortoises, doing super well outside. Now let's move on to our three new additions that none of y'all have seen. Here's tortoise number one of our new additions, our Russian tortoise, Diamond. She's a female. And we also have our other one coming out to see what's going on. But this is Diamond, one of the three new additions that we have. Our female Russian tortoise. These guys are super awesome, super energetic, and great additions to the family. So let's show you the other tortoises. And here we have Sadie, another female tortoise that I got as a rescue. She actually calls by name, so if you have her in her hide, she'll come out when she hears something or if you call her name. That's Sadie, super adorable little tortoise. I love these dudes so much. They're super fun, super active little rescue tortoises I got. The person I got, the male and female, this being the female and the other male that you're about to see, I got them from a person who's moving away. And then these guys, they didn't have the ability to take care of her anymore. So now I got three Russian tortoises in this massive tortoise enclosure. So that's Sadie with one of my female Russian tortoises. Now let's show you all the male. Now here's our male, Tortsy, who is much, much smaller than the two females. But he's super active, as you can see. He likes clawing at my hands. They do not like being up. They like crawling around and going where they want. But they all are doing really well. Both of the females and this one male are all sharing this space right here. But they're doing super good. And he's super fun. Super awesome guys to have in the addition. So that's Torsi, our male Russian tortoise. Alrighty guys, I hope you did enjoy that reptile on tour. As you tell, we got a lot of animals that I had to go through. So more videos coming soon as always. Let me know if you have any suggestions for videos, maybe videos with Gucci, uh, anything like that. Uh, and as always, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. I will see you all in the next video. Peace.